Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, when we last left off, I had just uh, spoken with Richter, who's apparently changed size because he tried to kill me. Um, I also did uh, pick up the what is it, the, the form of mist, so I can go through the iron gratings now as well. It's a very uh, useful power indeed. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue exploring the, the Coliseum. And I missed it. Great. And we'll just go up here since I'm a Butterfingers. See, look at that. So nice. Alright, we're gonna go down and go the way that I couldn't jump to because I was careless. Alright, interesting about the Valhalla Knights is they, uh, they only run so far, so if you know at the point that they're going to stop and turn around, you could basically just stop there and wait them out and just get free hits over and over. Um, owl Knights, they're interesting too in that if you kill the Owl, the Owl Knight's just going to stand there stunned that you killed his Owl, and you can basically just kill him right there. And apparently we have the Tea Keeper. Um, apparently, I guess I interrupted him while he was enjoying his green tea. I, I don't know. Yeah, the Cutlass. Um, it's probably not better. I, I really don't see how it could be. Wait, anyway, this next room is, is extra Gauntlet of Swords. I've actually died a couple times trying to show this to you. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and tough it out. It just it hurts that much. And this is why the shield rod. Shield rod is 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 probably the one of the most interesting items in this game. Wow, I don't even know how I'm gonna get through here. There we go. Come on. Yeah, and I can't hit him. Aha, we made it. 21 health to spare, too, no less. Yeah, we're going to go over here, and I think I'm going to use a save point because I need some health. Ah, much better. We'll go over here just. Yeah, these guys were kind of a pain to kill. They just, they hit harder than, than your average enemy. Anyway, moving on. Okay, and you'll notice that if we go over here, this is actually where we came from before, uh, just before we went to uh, the actual Coliseum itself and uh, fought the werewolf and minotaur. But we're going over here and we can hit the switch. Uh, this item is actually another sub weapon. It's kind of interesting. Well, I can't get it to work, but it's supposed to shoot out lightning, and it drains your hearts the longer you uh, hold and charge it. So, I again, it's just, they have a lot of items that I just don't use. Anyway, we're back in the Royal Chapel. Um, since I'm here, I'll go ahead and I'll show a couple other things that I uh, didn't do earlier. Now that I've got the, um, the Leap Stone, I can actually double jump and meet, you know, hit a couple places up here. I get the Morning Star. Um, where is it? Oops. Never mind. Uh, it's weaker. And I had also uh, mentioned at an earlier time that I would try and show you uh, 
the rare drop off of this spike. Well now seems as good a time as any so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep trying to kill this thing off screen until I get the the rare armor and then I can show you guys. And we're back. It only took me about 20 uh, iron uh, spike balls. Uh, gained three iron balls in the process and four levels. But I finally have my Axe Lord armor. Check out that description, huh? Where it becomes an Axe Knight. So when I equip it, basically this is what happens. Yeah, I'm like a little t blue tank. I can't jump. I walk real fast and I have this really pitiful uh, axe attack. Yeah, it's it's bad. It, it's it's more of just a novelty item. That there's really nothing else to it. Now, I actually did happen to pick up a couple of these items uh, earlier, and I didn't show you how happened to be off screen. Um, I picked up TNT and a boomerang uh, and a shuriken, all disposable items that are one time uses. This one I did not get though. I was having some issues uh, jumping on this guy's head. And I seem to still have issues. Well, I got an idea. Let's see. Uh... Alright, that didn't work so well. Aha, there we go. Onk of Life. This is actually one of our first somewhat useful uh, rel uh, accessories. It, basically, if I use a potion, I'll just gain some more health. It, ideally, I wanted it to be a very useless accessory. But we'll see how that goes. There we get magic missiles, yet another disposable item. Alright, I need to go back and get that. That's actually uh, important. Uh, if I can make this jump without being set on fire here. There we go, Mystic Pendant. This is actually useful. Uh, it'll increase my MP restoration rate. Now, from my understanding, there you can actually get more than one in the game, but from everything I've seen, they don't stack. Anyway, now that we've cleared that little portion, um, you know what? There, there's a bit of area we never actually explored back in the library because we couldn't reach the ledges. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the library. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So I'll go ahead and meet you there at this point. And we're back, finally in the library. The uh, entire run took me about uh, two minutes or so. I used uh, the teleporter from the main part of the castle to uh, teleport to the outer wall on the far uh, western end of the castle. If you remember, these are the guys that uh, curse me. Yeah, I never did actually show you what happened, so... When you're cursed, if you're trying to attack, you make grunting noises. You, you can't attack, you just have to either use an uncursed potion, or you just have to wait out the duration. There it goes. I mean, it's not too long, but I mean, it's just... It's just really annoying. And now, because we have the leap stone, we can get to some places we couldn't earlier. Oh, that didn't help. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Well, maybe I lied. There we go. Okay. And when we go here, we find uh, anti-venom, which uh, is poison, potion, and we find our first familiar, the fairy card. So we'll go into relics, uh, fairy card, turn it on, and... Your word is my command. Oh, is that right? I could put that to use later. All right, just a quick word about the fairy familiar. Um, it does not attack. 
this thing is a completely support. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to use your own items to heal you. If you get low on health, it'll uh, use potions for you. If you get cursed, um, it'll use an uncurse. you get petrified, it'll break you out with hammers. Um, as it gets higher, it'll start to actually use your uh, resist potions as well when needed. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for this episode. Um, next one, we'll go ahead and finish exploring the library and see where that takes us. Uh, this is Crime and Partner. You know, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next crime.